The electricity sector in Australia is historically dominated by coal-fired power stations, but renewables are forming a rapidly growing fraction of supply. Due to its large size and the location of its population, Australia lacks a single grid. Since 2005, wind power and rooftop solar have led to a fast growing share of renewable energy in total electricity generation. Topic <laughs> summary topic electricity supply As of 2011, electricity producers in Australia were not building gas-fired power stations, while the four major banks were unwilling to make loans for coal-fired power stations, according to Energy Australia, formerly Trunergy. In 2014, an oversupply of generation was expected to persist until 2024. However, a report published in 2017 by the Australian energy market operator projected that energy supply in 2018 and 2019 is expected to meet demands, with a risk of supply falling short at peak demand times. From 2003 to 2013, real electric prices for households increased by an average of 72%. Much of this increase in price has been attributed to over-investment in increasing distribution networks and capacity, and environmental policy impacts. Further price increases are predicted to be moderate over the next few years 2017 on, due to changes in the regulation of transmission and distribution networks as well as increased competition in electricity wholesale markets as supply and demand merge. Renewable. Renewable energy has potential in Australia, and the Climate Change Authority is reviewing the 20% renewable energy target The production of 50 MW of wind power power for nearly 21,000 homes annually creates about 50 construction jobs and 5 staff positions. In recent years, wind and solar power have been the fastest growing source of energy in Australia. Green electricity in Australia is available from a number of green energy suppliers that supply electricity from environmentally friendly energy sources that are renewable and non-polluting. The growth and development of the green energy industry was tracked in Australia by the ALTEX Australia Alternative Energy Index from 2006 to 2011. In Australia green energy is accredited under the Greenpower scheme whereby all distributors are government audited by annually to ensure that customers are getting exactly what is described in their purchased products. In the 2009 settlement period there were 904,716 Greenpower customers Australia-wide, accounting for a total of 2,194,934 MWh of electricity generation, a 10% increase over 2008. This total electricity provision was divided between residential customers who purchased 1,001,195 MWh, and business customers who purchased 1,193,739 MWh. The largest nationwide distributors were Energy Australia, Origin Energy, and Trunergy. 
By the 2014 settlement period the number of Greenpower customers Australia-wide was at 497,406, and total purchases accounted for 1,279,281 megawatt-hours. Topic: Wind power. Wind power is a mode of production of renewable energy in Australia. Wind power is a rapidly expanding mode of renewable energy production in Australia with an average annual rate of growth in installed capacity of 35% over the five years up to 2011. As of December 2017, there were 4,455 megawatts MW of installed capacity and a further 18,823 megawatts of capacity was proposed or committed. In 2016, wind power accounted for 5.3% of Australia's total electricity demand and 30.8% of total renewable energy supply. At the end of 2016 there were 79 wind farms in Australia, most of which had turbines from 1.5 to 3 MW. In addition, 16 projects with a combined installed capacity of 1,861 megawatts are either under construction, constructed or will start construction in 2017 having reached financial closure. Wind power in South Australia has 36.9% of Australia's wind power capacity, accounting for 40% of the state's electricity needs as of 2016 and the first year in which wind power was the leading source of electricity in the state. By the end of 2011 wind power in South Australia reached 26% of the state's electricity generation, edging out coal-fired power for the first time. At that stage South Australia, with only 7.2% of Australia's population, had 54% of Australia's installed wind capacity. Victoria also has a substantial system, with just under 30% of the Australia's capacity as of 2016. In August 2015, the Victorian government announced financial backing for new wind farms as part of a push to encourage renewable energy in the state, which was expected to bring forward the building of a modest 100 megawatts of new wind energy in the state, worth $200 million in investment. The government expected that there were about 2,400 megawatts worth of Victorian projects that had been approved but were yet to be built. <laughs> Solar power in Australia Solar power in Australia is a growing industry. As of December 2017, Australia had over 7,024 megawatts of installed photovoltaic PV solar power, of which 1,190 megawatts were installed in the preceding 12 months. In 2017, 23 solar PV projects with a combined installed capacity of 2,034 megawatts were either under construction, constructed or due to start construction having reached financial closure. PV accounted for 2.4% of Australia's electrical energy production in 2014-15. Feed-in tariffs and renewable energy targets designed to assist renewable energy commercialisation in Australia have largely been responsible for the rapid increase. 
In South Australia, a solar feed-in tariff was introduced for households and an educational program that involved installing PVs on the roofs of major public buildings such as the Adelaide Airport, State Parliament, Museum, Art Gallery and several hundred public schools. In 2008 Premier Mike Rann announced funding for $8 million worth of solar panels on the roof of the new Goida Pavilion at the Royal Adelaide Showgrounds, the largest rooftop solar installation in Australia, qualifying it for official «power station» status. South Australia has the highest per capita take-up of household solar power in Australia. The installed PV capacity in Australia has increased tenfold between 2009 and 2011, and quadrupled between 2011 and 2016. The first commercial scale PV power plant, the 1 MW U turn solar power station, was opened in 2011. Greenough River Solar Farm opened in 2012 with a capacity of 10 MW. The price of photovoltaics has been decreasing, and in January 2013, was less than half the cost of using grid electricity in Australia. Australia has been internationally criticised for producing very little of its energy from solar power, despite its vast resources, extensive sunshine, and overall high potential. Topic Storage Topic Battery Topic National Electricity Market The National Electricity Market is an arrangement in Australia for the connection of the synchronous electricity transmission grids of the eastern and southern Australia states and territories to create a cross-state wholesale electricity market. The Australian Energy Market Commission develops and maintains the Australian National Electricity Rules which have the force of law in the states and territories participating in NEM. The rules are enforced by the Australian Energy Regulator. The day-to-day -day management of NEM is performed by the Australian Energy Market Operator. The NEM began operation on 13 December 1998 and operations currently includes Queensland, New South Wales, Australian Capital Territory, Victoria, Tasmania and South Australia. Western Australia and the Northern Territory are not connected to the NEM. The NEM comprises five regions, with the ACT being in the NSW region. Tasmania joined the NEM in May 2005 and became fully operational on 29 April 2006 when the Basslink interconnector was fully activated. The Snowy region was abolished as a region on 1 July 2008 and the components split between New South Wales and Victoria. The Northern Territory has adopted parts of the National Electricity Law, with the Australian Energy Market Commission becoming the rule maker for the Territory for parts of the National Electricity Rules from 1 July 2016. Western Australia is also considering adopting parts of the NER. The NEM operates the world's longest interconnected power systems between Port Douglas, Queensland, and Port Lincoln, South Australia, with an end to end distance of more than 5,000 km and 40,000 circuit kilometres. 
Over $11 billion of electricity is traded annually in the NEM to meet the demand of almost 19 million end-use consumers. New South Wales accounts for about 25% of NEM. States Topic Queensland Queensland, Australia's second largest state in terms of physical area, Western Australia is the largest, achieved the early leader's dream of providing electricity to every home, entailing a considerable degree of pioneering, innovation, and commitment. Queensland proved to be a pioneer in the supply of electricity in Australia, with the first public demonstration in Australia, the first recorded use for public purposes in the country, the first Parliament House in Australia and the first commercial operations in Australia all occurring in Brisbane. Generation and limited distribution was initially the responsibility of local authorities, until a central state-based authority to coordinate the generation and distribution of electrical power was established in 1938. In the late 1990s, the electricity sector was restructured to enable integration with the National Electricity Market the history of power generation and distribution in Queensland can be considered in three major phases, initial local generation and distribution, creation of a statewide body and the consequent creation of an extensive network, and the restructure to enable integration with the NEM. Queensland is the most decentralised mainland state, and initial local generation and distribution was the only viable option for the supply of electricity in many instances. The creation of regional, and then a statewide network from 1945 enabled economies of scale and reliability to be obtained, particularly by generating plants. Within a decade of the statewide network being completed, the establishment of the NEM provided new commercial opportunities for generators and improved reliability of supply. <laughs> South Australia Energy efficiency Lower energy use could save $25 billion, or $840 per electricity customer, according to Energy Australia. <laughs> 